Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand a dynamic NAND with a truth table and then identifying what are the drawbacks and getting introduced to domino circuits. Okay, let's quickly draw a dynamic to input NAND. We have already discussed this in the previous clip. Just a quick recap. Dynamic circuit to input NAND is what we are looking at. So for the NAND, we know that the expression is given by y equal to ab the whole bar. So pull down will be A in series with B. We also know that we need to put a footer transistor and there has to be a PMOS and both the footer and the header which is a PMOS will be connected with 5. 5 because it's a clock which can keep on varying instantaneously and hence it's called a dynamic circuit because there is a constant variation in the input and this becomes my V out. So let's do the write the truth table for an AND. Very, very straightforward and simple this is. Let's see whether we can get this with a dynamic circuit. So initially we know that for dynamic circuits what we need to do is make our phi equal to zero. If my phi is equal to zero, before we do that, let's name all our transistors. If phi is equal to 0, P1 is on and N3 is off. And because N3 is off, any change on A and B is not going to be reflected because there's no part to go to ground. So it will make my output initially charged to VDD and hence this is called a P-charge phase. No inputs will be evaluated in the P-charge phase. Now I make my phi equal to 1, so I enter an evaluation phase. Evaluation phase means my inputs would be evaluated. Phi equal to 1 also means that my PMOS is off and my NMOS is on. So there's a part to ground. So now the inputs N1, N2 and N3, the NMOS transistors will keep on varying depending on A and B and will be trying to produce an output. So let's see this not to get confused. Phi is equal to 1, inputs will be evaluated if A is 0, B is 0 n1 n2 off and because they both of them would be off there is no path for the initial vdd which was charged to discharge to ground so my output is going to be zero is it no the output is going to be one that's correct because it was initially charged to vdd and there's no path to discharge so output is equal to one which is the first case now when a is equal to zero and b is equal to one a0 means n1 is off, n2 is on. Even this is off, this is on, still there is a disconnect because all three are connected in CD, so no part to ground, so output will not have the part to discharge, so output will still stay to 1. We can show the same case when A is 1 and B is 0. When A is 1, B is 0, n1 is on n2 is off still there is no part to ground because n2 now is the culprit and not giving a complete series part to ground so v out cannot be discharged and will be to logic high which is the second and the third case in the truth table the fourth case is nothing but a being one and b being one if a is one and b is one both n1 and n2 would be on and my output will have a path to go to ground because N3 is also on in the evaluate phase we know that N3 is on. So the output gets a path to discharge to ground and VO is equal to zero. So I get this condition as well. So this is how a dynamic to input NAND works. My only concern is right now I've gone in the truth table in this order. I want to ask a question what if I go and verify the truth table in this order? I beg your pardon there. I'll just quickly tell you what I mean. What if I go this way in the truth table and see if the circuit works or not? Let's see. Thank you and stay tuned.